We will be using Geometer Sketchpad to learn a little bit about polar coordinates and the graph of polar equation. In the Cartesian coordinate system, a point's coordinates are determined by its perpendicular lines. Now, a line in the graph can be represented by an equation. In the polar coordinate system, each point is determined by an angle and a distance. The radial coordinate, denoted by r, shows the distance from the central point or the pole. And this shows how far it is from the pole. The angular coordinate, or the polar angle, is denoted by theta. And that shows the angle required to reach the point. Because we're using radians and not degrees, our theta is shown in multiples of pi. And because it's angles, you can see by the grid, polar graphs are circular by nature. Now, in a Cartesian coordinate system, the equation is specified by defining y as a function of x. In the polar coordinate system, a polar equation is specified by defining r, the distance, as a function of theta, the angle. Now here is the graph of a polar equation, and as you can see, the graph changes depending on the parameter. Now we'll graph the polar rose and see how it relates to its Cartesian form. The first part will be done using sine in the equation. So here is our equation and our polar coordinates. The graph the equation is Cartesian form. We can see the sine wave. As we animate the point, we can follow the point moving along the Cartesian graph and at the same time its polar graph being graphed. And now we'll do the same using cosine in the equation. So here again is our equation with cosine, our polar coordinates, our Cartesian form, the cosine wave. And when we animate this point, we can again see the point moving along the Cartesian graph and the polar form being graphed as well. So now we'll look at just the polar graph of a sine equation, or one version of the polar rose. And then we'll look at the cosine equation. There you have it.